Well, hey there team, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to some more of the Banished Vault. So, we pushed the last mission for the sake of curiosity, right? Um, and here we go, that answers our question. Stasis, one of eight. I suppose it just sits there like that. Can we put it in storage? Oh. That's interesting, isn't it? So you're not allowed to put it in storage, so the game won't let us overstore it. There's eight slots on the vault, but they require two stasis each. So I'm going to go ahead and say there might be some sort of tick or something like that in the future that might make it so we can get eight people in our travels, perhaps? I don't know. But that is interesting that I can't overstore it. So the next test, honestly, is to generate 10, because they go in nine stacks, is to generate 10 status, stasis, and just to test if we can put excess sta stasis in the vault. I'm I'm guessing we, we can't. I mean, it, it makes sense that we can't, but still, I, I would like to test that. Um. Yeah. The ships come with us as well, by the look of it. So they're permanent upgrades. Um. Hmm. And then can we check our... Survey Chronicle. Oh, we didn't do the Chronicle thing. The Chronicle requires four entries. Write more entries on Hallowed Planets to finish your journey. Oh, right. So that's something that we need to be really switched on about. Um, chapel, crew, shipyard. And we got that new type of ship. Hang on. So what was that one? It was the rail ship. Can we... Re Hang on. So that's crew to cargo four. So what's this? Cargo four, crew one, mass three, mass two. Okay, thrust minus one. So I would I would call this an objective upgrade, right? It's slightly heavier. That's a good in between. Okay. Ah. <sighs> All right, yep, yeah, there's a deep sigh, wasn't it, Scarlet? I feel like we really want to go to all the planets. If only there's a chance that there's like a survivor or something. Why is there a little red arrow now? Is that just a UI update? Yeah, the one the one thing I was trying to look for was, um, what were my up, like, can I get a an idea? Oh, it says knowledge 22 up there. Because I can't remember specifically what I bought, you know what I mean, as, as upgrades. Hmm. Okay. Anyway. Anyway. I think little scout craft is probably the best place to start. Thrust modification one. So, hypothetically, let's click on these. What is it? One or minus one? Sparrow ship. Oh, look at this. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. This is a totally different ship. I, I would actually love to build one of these. No engineer. Let's get one of them. Um... You know what we might do, actually? Let's put this bloke in the chapel. Alexa required three. Oh, hang on. Will this require five? So that... Oh, wow. Okay, to increase at one point... Whoa, okay, that is going to add up. So if a dude's got like six faith, he'll need seven to go up a level. Okay, so as it approaches one, it becomes cheaper. 
And um, yeah, if you were to hibernate with only one faith, they'll go to zero, which presumably kills them. Hmm. Interesting. There's some really cool mechanics going on here. All right, let's put this guy here. Let's fabricate a sparrow. Oh, what happened then? Did I accidentally make two of them? Oh, for why was there a delay then? Game. Ah! What's restart do? Restart your journey to the start of this solar system. Restarts from it. All right, let's actually just do that real quick because I haven't done anything yet, right? I want to see what happened then. Like, is that a repeatable problem? All right, let's uh, let's actually go to this larger ship and send everyone across. I'm still I'm still. Oh look, it's remembered the Alexa and that. I'm still gonna put this dude there. Oh, hang on. Three, nine. That's a... Has that accidentally cloned? Alexa? It might have. Uh, I don't want to exploit it, but, I, you know, what, am, what else am I going to do? The game would have saved. It doesn't look like it's cloned alloy, which is okay. That's what really matters. We don't want that happening. Okay. Sparrow. Fabricate. Okay, I don't know I don't know why that happened, but I have to click somewhere else to make that happen. That's fine. Okay. So this has a thrust modifier of one, which is to say these smaller little planets, I could probably get a dude going there. Um, engines. Oncilla engine. And that requires methane as a fuel. Hmm. But what I could do is... Pinch the engine off something else. Like you. Here we go. Put that there, put you there. And then a stack of fuel. Still limited by efficiency, but if you pull up the calculator, what's the ship's mass? It's got to be one, right? And the efficiency is 175, so if we rip this up here... Look at that, one fuel gets you so much efficiency. Oh, that's just wild. Okay, cool. Which is to say, this thing is going to scoot around as a scout quite effectively. Can we get rid of this calculator? Um, okay. So, what if I send you to here? <laughs> oh my god, it's overkill. Thrust three. Oh, right, engine thrust. Oh, how about... Okay, that's also interesting as well. That's the most efficient engine I have available, I believe. 175, 160, 115. So I could hypothetically take a ship with, with what, minus one thrust? What have I got there? Franklin ship. Is that much different from this? Thrust minus one, cargo four, crew one. Ship with four cargo and one traveler. Oh, okay. This has a traveler? No travelers. Okay, right, right, right. So the navigator and traveler are tra treated as separate seats. That's fine. Sorry, I know. I'm still working it out. Um, anyway, okay, yeah. Plug it in, baby. Let's go. Start maneuver. And... I mean, I'm tempted to do the same thing with another little baby ship. I know I, I reset because I accidentally made two, but I'm also like, YOLO, let's go. Mass two, mass one. Yeah, bugger it. Let's, let's do it. 
Alter 41. All right. We'll give you a block of fuel. And we're going to we're going to travel to here. Is that a planetoid though? Or is that a space sector? Do you know what I mean? I guess that's Oh, it's orbit. Do you you see what I mean? Like how it sits on the ring? Ah, how cool is that? Energy six, one, 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 zero, three, zero there. Interesting. All right, send out the scouts. Got the dude in the chapel getting elixir. I gotta click here. Then we've got this big boy who's potentially gonna load up load up with everything. Iron, water. Fuel. Doesn't really have a good engine though, does he? Um, yeah, right. So we need methane and we need alloy. Where's the closest methane? Down here, probably. Okay. So if we're going to try and get methane production going. Oh, it's tricky, isn't it? Water, iron, probably there we could set up. We could set up there. Yeah. Do I take the big ship or do I take something smaller? Ship mass is what I'm worried about. I might actually go with the smaller one. Right. You can have the engine, you can have all of that. Oh! Hang on. He's got one of these. Um, thrust one. Okay, that's perfect. It doesn't really need the thrust engine. I'll give him another block of fuel just in case. All right, we'll put this engineer in the nav. And we will set course for there. Got the thrust. Geez, all things said, that's not so bad. Off you go. Alright, I think we're good. The only other thing is this dude that we put in the chapel. Alright, what's going on here? Oh, hang on. How come? How come I can zoom in on here? Atmosphere? So this is totally devoid as a as a whole. I guess we could put like a mineral scanner for the next section. But it seems that passing through it lets me zoom into it. So you just got to discover it. Okay, well here's another question. Did this planet get discovered because he went there or because he went past? Hmm. Questions. Do you have to go all the way to the planet's square 
to to access it, you know? Unknown debris. Alright. That's fine. Right, so we can see this area is empty, but it has carbon atmosphere. Alright. What is this? Boiling temperatures. Potential outcomes lose all actions. Ah. Like a heat hazard. Alright. Unknown debris. Meanwhile, he's heading down there to set up fuel and methane production. And you, sir. Don't have the best engine. We could go scouting with this. Leaving the big ship home at the moment. Hmm. I can I can anticipate a scenario where you like lift ship stuff into orbit and then maybe you have a second ship to move them along no well to skip a turn is it really worth it who knows um well how's this actually going to turn out for artifacts three there's going to be four all said Right. And then here, one. Five plus fuel. Let's bring the big boy. Yeah. Insufficient energy. Now, it's going to strand him, but that's fine because we plan on producing fuel. At least that's the plan. So. All on this dude, right? First things first, mate. Offload everything. So he's only got one action because he landed there. Right, yeah, 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 yeah. Iron Harvester. Got to risk it on the dodgy tile, I reckon. Boiling temperatures, hazard difficulty, potential outcome. Success. Highest value six. Ah, oh, I see. It doesn't matter. He's out of moves anyway. Whoopty woo. All right, what's going on on this planet? No more artifacts. Right, so what we could probably do is continue scouting and we'll let the other ship pick this crap up pick up all the bits and pieces. Yeah, so I think scavenging is a legit thing that we should look into. Um, okay, see this as well. Interesting that um, 
that that didn't discover any of these arms. So you do in you do in fact have to scout to them to reveal them. Okay. Search for artifacts. I wonder if I leave my ships behind, do they get destroyed? I mean, that would make sense, would it not? Hmm. How are we looking? All right, well, we've got all our artifacts, so that's good. So let's load them up. All right. Definitely need that. Might just snake all the fuel. I don't want to deck, dock this guy his entire engine though. You know what I mean? No, oh, yeah, look at that. We can sort of clean the planet out. That works. And then what about this bloke? What are we going to do here? All right, well, we've got iron production going. We want water production. Water costs iron. Okay, that works. Labourer has no actions. How come? Ability. Gain three water when entering a new system. Okay. I wonder why he's flashing up. Is it because he's selected right now? See, see what I mean? Hmm. I don't know. In turn. All right, Orbitus. Is there anything I can do with one move here? Scriptorum. What resources do I have? Water, titanium. I don't believe I can build anything. So all the harvesters cost iron, okay. Iron, titanium, alloy. Artifact Surveyor. Adds five more artifacts for gathering at this location. Ah. Scriptorum. No, there's not really much we can do there, man. So I was going to try and milk him for his points, but so it goes. Um... I wish I could like right click to zoom out sort of thing. What did we leave here again? Three things, yeah. Oh god, no. I didn't mean that button. Alright, you. Off you go. You. Silicon, eh? Hey? Oh, I think we leave it.
Did he just do two plane trips then? So what trips the turn thing? Oh, it's the hourglass. Oh, it's... Oh. Right. So moving between arms, if you want to call it, orbit depths will trip an end turn state. And also moving back to the to the temple, to the vault, will do the same thing. That is wonderful. Right, so you really got to think about that. So keeping a ship, a big ship here is probably sensible, right? Probably. All right. Um. Oh, you've got to be joking. Um, well, I don't have the titanium for it either. Oh. Um, oh, bugger me. That is a spanner in the works. Think we end turn? God, this music's wonderful, isn't it? So what if we... Hang on. Oh, you, okay, right. So you can't sit it right there on the fulcrum. I see. Okay. Can I like tab? No, I can't. What's going on with this joker? Oh, animal skull. Oh, very cool. So these scouts are all good and well, but you need a second wave of like transports or something. I feel like, yeah, you, you kind of want to hollow out each arm if that makes sense. Maybe. You've already had your turn, haven't you? Yeah. Right. Now, can we not decon can we not deconstruct buildings? <gasps> that is fascinating. Also, sh shit. Ah. Oh. 
Oh, Scarlet, what have you done? You big bloody goober. You can limp down there in this big ship. Uh, no. Um. Well, I can't build fuel production there. I'm going to have to build it here. And then for it. Oh my god, my head, man. I need a titanium and an iron, right? Thank God I've got this intermediate ship. Right. Three action points. Alright, so once you're in these little orbital arms, it becomes a little bit more palatable. Oh, you know what? I probably could have kept his points. Uh, whatever. Right, we still need to wait on the titanium. Oh, I guess I can produce water here. Just straight up make fuel. Potential outcomes lose fate because of the mountainous terrains. Hazard six. So I have to hit a six. Oh, baby, let's go. All right, meanwhile, what's going on here? All right, he scrubbed all that. So you know what? You're the perfect candidate to run out to here. And meet him when he rocks up. Alright. Oh man. <laughs> this is great. But, uh, yeah, that's an interesting development that these are all little, like, suburbs. So we can work with that. All right, cool. Anyway, team, thanks again for joining me. Might just leave it there for the time being, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.